Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Doc. And I just realized there's a brand new update. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Doc. And I just realized there's a brand new update. So um, here I am. I got my MPC software open. And I want to go check for an update, right? So I come here. I'm going to check for it. Check for updates right here. Now, as you can see, it says update information. You are running the latest version of MPC. Now, I'll suggest and I'll press. Okay, I understand that. Okay, right. So, but when you go to the website, you'll see here, once you get to your products that have been registered, I go to product registrations here, and I'll see here I've got, let's say, my MPCX right here. I'll go to down here, and I'll see it says MPC 2.11 desktop software I come to here and there is an update now I got to, I'll come to here and I'll, I download this one right here right so I download that and we'll go right at my top you'll see right here what it says it's 2.11.7.39 it's a new release so I will go here to desktop I will download to my desktop and once it does download you can start updating your MPC application from that point now this will down this download will help out your application totally and uh i've got it right here let's go back to here now i have not loaded it up yet so i'm going to check it out right now and this is it right here and this is welcome to the mpc installer okay so i want to go here and i want to install this so i'll press continue continue i agree I mean, here, I want to install it here in this drive. So I'm going to go here and I'll press continue. I want to make expansion packs. So I'll put that there too as well. And I'll say continue and install. Got to put my code in here somewhere. Somehow I got to put my code in here. So I'm going to go here and put the code in. If I remember it. That should be it. And install software. Installer would like to access your desktop. Okay, go right ahead. So now it's going to install this. I'm running a MacBook Pro and uh, with an M1 chip. So um, we'll see what happens here. But the last time I did this, it was pretty good. I had no problems. And I actually have no problems. Currently, I have no problems at all right now. So I'm not worried about... So good. There you go. Enjoy using MPC. So I'll close this out. And then I want to go back to the software. So I want to find this software right there. And now I want to look at this thing, and we're going to check for updates. Let's see if it'll do something here. Nope. So then I want to check out what this is about this MPC. So see, it hasn't updated yet. So I need to close it out. I'm going to quit this. Now once I quit that, I'm going to restart again. So let me close this stuff out from my desktop and shrink this stuff down. Good. And next I want to get in here and launch it again let's see if it launches with the new update now, that said 2.11.6 let's see what this next one goes to take a little while to launch but i have a lot of plugins here and a lot of vsts i mean i got a ridiculous amount of vsts i've got to start doing more videos on vsts actually which will be doing at the end of the year and coming into the beginning of the year. We have a lot of software we're going to start teaching you from Pro Tools to Logic to Ableton Live to FL Studio and more. All right, there you go. Welcome to your new MPC. You have just installed 2.11.7. You, you last ran 2.11.6. Show release notes. So we got release notes here. Uh, so here are the release notes for the MPC. 2.11.7 release notes so the mpc desktop software and firmware update is mainly for compatibility and so the mpc 2.11 desktop software is now compatible with the macintosh os monterey and windows 11. so of course they've updated with the new m1 software too as well and so we also have here the mpc adds native support for running on Macs with Apple Silicon M1 and M1X processors. Okay, that's pretty good. 
Then we also have here the MPC 2.11 desktop software includes MIDI maps for Poplar, Ableton, Ultria, M Audio, and native instrument controllers. That's pretty cool. Usually they have a battle with native instruments. Then we have firmware. This release is for the MPC-1, the MPC Live Mach 2, the MPC X, the MPC Live, and the MPC Key 61 hardware. Downloading the update. The download for the MPC 11.7 desktop software update. Log into your Akai Pro user account or through the MPC-2 when prompted. Or it has to be MPC2 software, of course, obviously. And then the instructions for installing the update, please visit the knowledge base article here. Okay, big deal. Anyway, so it's going to update for all five of their products that are the currently latest one since 2017. And then the latest features are this right here. You can now download and install internal plugins, instruments, and effects from the MPC desktop software in the preferences, active, Plugins tab, they already said that already. And this stuff has already been said too as well. Here we go, this is the main thing here. Stability and reliability. Bounce to sample, no longer gets stuck halfway through. Finally fixed that, it's great. Pinch zooming in waveforms is now smooth and responsive. Program edit envelope filter selection now matches between GUI and TUI, perfect. And the same note can now be played simultaneously on multiple tracks. Then multiple notes can now be played simultaneously when using 16 levels on, sorry, on a polyphonic program. Crash no longer, crash no longer occurs when switching between track group and track mute during playback. Now that's pretty cool. So I'm going to test all that stuff out, of course. So when you get a chance, download this. It's going to help you have more stability, obviously. And they're getting ready to launch something new because they're doing this at the end of the year. And, uh, hey, you never know. So, any questions, hit me up, samplekings.com. Or check me out, actually, in uh, YouTube. And I also have a Facebook page as well, too. Peace. So we've got the notes here. We're good to go. And so let me go back to the software. And so now I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to press empty project. We'll go here to check for updates. I'm running the latest software, of course. And to see the software to make sure I'm good. It's right there. 2.11.7. And we're good to go. Okay, don't forget to update and check it out. Peace.